Harvest Moonrise in Finger Paints. That's what we'll cover today. We'll do that here in just a moment. Hi, I'm Tim Longwell with Longwell Art, where we help you create for contentment. We reignite your creativity. So we'll get started right away here. Basically, you just mix your brown and your red and your yellow finger paints until you find the color of gray that you like. This one's kind of a blue gray. And we'll grab some of that and we'll put it in our night sky. Now we know we want our moon kind of right in here rising. So we got a rough idea of the shape we're going to take with our sky. Just work it across and around, down, however you like to make it. I'm going to take some yellow, kind of put our moon in. We're going to take a little orange and mix with it because the harvest moons are more orangish than yellow. Now the reason the harvest moon looks so big when it comes up like this is it's a what they call an optical illusion. It's because of the way the light is handled as it comes through the atmosphere. So the moon always look bigger closer to the horizon and it's not because it's any closer or further away to us that it determines its size because it's always the, relatively the same distance away there are some variances in its orbit but it's because of the way our atmosphere filters the light and that's also kind of what gives it its orange color in the fall is because usually there's a lot of ash from burning leaves and stuff like that in the sky, other atmospheric condi conditions that can change the color of it. You might actually see one of these orange moons in an area where there's been a high fire and you're getting the ash blown toward you where you live. And we're just going to kind of move things around a little bit here. Kind of give it a little bit of the texture. You're not going to see a whole lot of it, but you're going to see some of the features in the moon. And by adding this, you add more of a realistic look to your finger painting. It's you don't have to get real detailed. This one, we're going to take a little brown and make our ground. At night, things will be darker, so you want kind of a little bit heavier application to your brown. On some little stars, you can just take your fingernail and kind of just... Well, I let mine dry too quick. So, when, but you could use a little end of a paintbrush or a toothpick or something. You could scratch in a little spots for your stars if you wanted, depending on if you had your sky darker or what have you. <coughs> Which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more of that sky color. And just play with your colors until you get the gray you want. This, this, what I'm going to do now, you can do this with pretty much any tool. I'm just going to use a little small brush. Just add some little trees in here that are off in the distance and they got their winter leaf, 
branches on. And yet they're close enough that you can see them silhouetted against the moon. Maybe one there. One, one further back there. Just to give some feature to your painting a little bit. Whatever it is. Kind of give the impression that this tree is up to whatever. And there you have a simple little harvest moon scene that you can use to decorate for your fall decorations. If you enjoyed what you saw today, be sure and click the subscribe button. Got more videos for to help you in your creativity over here to my right. Well, as always, we'd like to encourage, continue to encourage you to create for contentment and find simple ways to create that you enjoy. Because most of all, creativity is about having fun. And you be sure and have some.